morning. It's Sunday, January 9th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here once again with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Sunday is going well as you prepare for worship. We're continuing to read uh, all this week from the book Truth for Life. It is written by Pastor Alistair Begg. It's copyright 2021, Good Book Company. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Whenever you and I receive invitations, we find ourselves asking the same sorts of questions. Who is it from? Who is it for? Why does it matter? This verse presents one of the loveliest invitations in the whole New Testament. But to understand it fully, we must ask those same questions. First, this is a personal invitation. It is not an invitation to a program or a philosophy to be included alongside Hinduism, Buddhism, Confucianism, New Ageism, humanism, or any other ism for that matter. It is an invitation from Jesus himself. He is bidding each of us come to me. The significance of the invitation lies in who is giving it. In the Gospels, Jesus declares who he is, the Messiah, the Savior of the world, the Son of God. You can reference John 4 and 1 John 4 for that. By virtue of this identity, Jesus could command a response, but instead he extends an invitation. And who does he invite to come? Well, all who labor and are heavy laden. This invitation is all inclusive. It does not single out a certain group among a larger group, but describes all of humanity. Each of us needs to hear these words because there is not one person who is not figuratively pushing around a wheelbarrow filled with the cares, responsibilities, fears, and failures that make up his or her life. Why does all this matter? Jesus invites us to find rest for our souls. He is speaking in eternal terms of a rest that never fails. He's beckoning us toward a banquet, and he does not even ask us to provide the clothes. We show up for the banquet just the way we are. And God takes all the here are my good deeds clothes that so many of us like to dress up in, calls them rags, and tosses them aside. He takes all the I'm so bad and messed up that there's no hope clothes and tosses them aside too. In their place, he covers us over with the robe of righteousness described in Isaiah 61.10 which is provided by Jesus himself. We can rest from our striving to make something of ourselves or earn heaven for ourselves when we come to Jesus and receive all we need and could ever need from him. This is the invitation of all invitations. Today, for the first time or the thousandth time, bring your burdens to Jesus and receive his rest. For further reading, check out Matthew 11, verses 25 through 30. Father, we ask you to bless us this day as we prepare for it and go into it. We invite your presence. Thank you, Lord, for Sunday, for the opportunities of life itself, and also for a day to worship you. This is the Lord's day, and so we look forward to worshiping with our church family, and we pray that that would be pleasing to you. And if we're not with our church family, may our own individual worship be pleasing to you. Bless us, Lord, with a sense of your presence and direction. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope it's been a blessing to you. I hope your Sunday is a good one. And I also hope you'll join us in person at First Congregational Church this morning for our 10 a.m. worship celebration. If you can't join us in person, connect with us through the live stream that goes up at the same time. Either way, remember, this is the Lord's day. So set aside to worship him. Thank him for all he has done and praise him for who he is. 
God bless you, my friends. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off, and I'll see you tomorrow.